warm welcome to everyone. I hope you've engrossed yourselves into this world-class flight simulator that can take you seamlessly anywhere in this beautiful planet. We need to cover two things today. First, the world update that's been focused on Japan and the development update where it covers varieties of issues. If this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more important updates that come along the way. Right after the launch, we hope to see third-party add-ons that could take the simulator to the next level. Asobo Studios have done a remarkable job by working with Microsoft to create a beautiful fusion. The strength of Microsoft can be measured by observing how many third-party developers have begun their projects. To take this one step further, could you possibly imagine that Microsoft received over 800 applications towards third-party development within the first few days of launch? So far, about 20 partners have been approved who have exhibited great creativity towards this platform. We can't be happier to see creative energy that's been unleashed while they showcase their developments in the marketplace. It seems there are more surprises to come. The latest update is based on the first world update which has been focused on Japan. Numerous things have been refined towards this beautiful country that has natural wonders. Right away from natural beauties, mountains, valleys, cities and all along the coastal lines, Japan would look phenomenal. Various areas of interest have been revised in development to further enhance the experience of simulation. Areas that include historic buildings with breathtaking architecture, iconic cultural buildings that carry history and temples have been upgraded in better detail. About six beautiful cities have been redeveloped in high quality materials which include 3D photogrammetry, which certainly brings better clarity while trying to seek any adventure in this land of rising sun. It's with the help of Bing Maps that's been incredible towards photogrammetry cities and with the addition of the all new digital elevation map which increases the details of the entirety for Japan in significant detail. Gaia Simulations has given tremendous help towards Asobo Studios by surpassing expectations towards scenery as well as airports for this specific update. Three of the airports which include the RJFU in Nagasaki, the RJTH as well as the RJCK which is the Kushiro Airport have been greatly detailed with the help of Gaia Simulations. Black Shack AI has also updated many details under building types specifically for Japanese traditional architecture. All these moving parts have been put together with the help of Masobo Studios that would deliver a better experience for all of us. Along with that, six airports have been handcrafted in great detail. In addition to that, new landing challenges have been further added that can increase more competition and excitement towards being an ace pilot. Not to forget, bush trips that have been received well by the flight simulator community has further increased its numbers by introducing newer bush trips which can embrace more exciting adventures in the wild. All in all, this is an exciting world update Microsoft has surprised us with. This is included in all packages and should be available for free on the 29th of September. In light to the development update, Asobo Studios has many updates which cover partnership series update, the software development kit update, feedbacks and snapshots, third-party developers update, updates to marketplace and many more. The partnership series update has been moved to next week where Asobo Studios plans to announce it featuring Gaia Simulations. Gaia Simulations has been in the business from quite some time developing great sceneries for different platforms and have showcased themselves in the marketplace for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The software development kit update certainly has many areas which address current issues and also expand the functionality under software development kits with thorough documentation, mainly focusing on development tools that include WebAssembly, where many improvements to the GDI as well as layer compatibility issues that can ease in the process of development as well as debugging capacities. The utilization of Visual Studio 2017 has been quite useful towards implementing more things in the current code. Other tools for development which include GITF Exporter as well as the SIM Connect facilities certainly have been useful towards Asobo Studios. The overall usability of these development tools have been quite successful that allows the editors to make many changes in different data points amongst the code. Under third-party developers, it looks like more than a thousand applications have now been passed in the partnership program. Over the last few days ever since the announcement, the flight simulator community has seen various announcements 
of different add-ons that include new airports, planes, ground services, land packs and many more areas that can broaden the experience of flight simulation. It looks like 20 more partners have been approved which makes it a combined total 40 partners that would feature many more areas of add-ons. Asobo Studios have been quite helpful and receptive in taking feedbacks right away from the community trying to take care of every small details from major issues to minor issues. They've also given an opportunity to the community to see what more they would like to see in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a great attitude for Asobo Studios that could strengthen not only the community but also the platform itself, making it a world-class flight simulator. It looks like the development roadmap has surpassed his expectations from the last couple of months and Asobo plans on having many more updates coming across in collaboration with many different third-party developers. We are going to expect more updates that would come along the way towards Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you enjoyed this video by the way. Remember, this is just the beginning. Have a good rest of the day and stay tuned.